Hey there, welcome to my Tableau course. I'm so excited to be sharing with you this amazing software. It's one of my all time favorite softwares I've ever, ever used. It's amazing. And if you've ever watched any of my other courses, you know that I usually start with a demonstration, okay? Because I don't want to get 10 videos in and then finally you're like, oh, this is what the software does. So I'm going to show you a quick demo and show you exactly how easy it is to use Tableau. All right, so the first one we're gonna start with, I'm gonna show you my data set. So let's just open this with Excel. Now you will be able to download this so that you can follow along. And the data set is really, really simple. I've got some field headings here. I've got some values underneath. There's sometimes it's numbers, sometimes it's words, percentages, sometimes it's like a location, right? Sometimes it's dates, words, places, that kind of thing so it's pretty simple data nothing crazy or fancy within it right and this is what we're going to be using for the remainder of this course unless otherwise stated so let's go ahead and close this right i've got tableau over here and let's just get rid of this okay so when you first open tableau you're going to see something like this and to connect your data source to tableau it's super super simple you grab your file you drag it and you drop it that's pretty much all there is to it. And if I open this up, everything's all connected, everything's all set up, and I'm ready to go. Sheet one, and I'm in. Now, other BI tools, it's nowhere near that simple. I've used other ones, and sometimes it can take me up to half an hour just to connect to my sets, right? And the whole beauty of Tableau is you can just get started, you can get to work, right? So let's just do something really simple. Tableau is a super visual tool it's all about seeing your data not reading it okay a lot of the times when you're using excel you got tables you got chart, and it's hard to see what's going on in your data so here's what here's what tableau does let's say i want to see category i can just uh, these are the field headings i had for my excel file right so let's open this up and just by double clicking already i have these labels okay and i want to see how many sales i've made for each one so let's go ahead and grab sales and let's drop it into columns and straight away, it's a bar chart, okay? And what we can do is, let's let's split this up a bit more. So instead of category, I wanna see subcategory as well. So again, drag, drop, and there you go. And straight away, it starts dividing my, da my data, starts splitting it, starts doing the graphics that, if I was to do this in Excel, I'd still be building it. I'd still be selecting my columns, I'd select my rows and all that kind of stuff. Then I would be styling it and all that. It just takes ages. Tableau, it's drag and drop. I haven't even used my left hand yet. I'm just using the mouse, right? Now, let's say I wanted to color code by the actual category. Let's go ahead and grab category again. I just grab it. I drop it on color. Straight away, it's already colored. But let's say I want to see what the actual values are. Easy. Let's grab sales. Drag it. Drop it into label. And there are my labels. And let's say I want to sort it highest to lowest. I just click this little button here. And there you go. Straight away, I've got a graphic. I'm ready to go. And you can straight away see in furniture, highest sales are in bookcases. The graphics, the results, everything you do in Tableau is super visual. So let's do another quick example. I'm going to create another sheet. And this time I'm going to show you maybe something with dates, right? So let's grab these dates here, right? I'm going to drag this. And I just want it to be a date, okay? Each of these dates right, is a little mark on the date. Now I want to grab sales and I want to see my sales over time. There you go. Okay. Now it's quite jagged. Easy. I can see it on a daily level, weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever I want. Let's say daily. Oops. Hang on. Let's go try. That was already on day. Let's go weekly. All right. I've got my bar here. And let's say I want to see it by category again, right? Because this is everything together. Let's grab category. Let's drop it on rows. And straight away, I've got the split. You want to see that color again? No worries, man. Just drop it on color. Straight away, I've got some graphics here. I've got some values. Let's say I want to see what the highest value is here. Okay, easy. I just grab my sales. I drop it on label, right? And this shows me everything, but I just want to see the maximum value. It's so easy. I still haven't used my, my left hand, right? There you go. These are the minimum and maximum values. I mean, it couldn't, it really couldn't be simpler. Okay, let's do another one. One of the coolest things I like doing, which I do a lot when I'm doing consultations or I'm introducing this technology to a division or to a department or, you know, even if it's a company, right, 
is using maps. Now in Excel, if you were to do like, you know, your results on a, of like cities or state, you know, it'd be in a bar chart or a pivot table or whatever it might be. And here, it's a little bit better. So let's say I got country here. Tableau automatically recognizes the names and says, oh, that's a whole list of countries and it sets it as country. So what you do is you just double click. And straight away in my data set, it plots all these countries. Let's add the label of the country just like that. Okay, so now I've got the labels, right? Which is kind of funny because I actually got the labels here already. Now I want to visualize, let's actually get rid of that label. It's that easy to get rid of it. Again, I haven't used my left hand yet. So I want to see how many sales each country has made. So let's go ahead and grab sales and let's drop it into color, right? And straight away, it color codes it by who has had the most sales and it looks like it's France, okay? It's so uh, it's, it's just so much fun to actually play. It's, it's, it's you're exploring, you're actually playing, right? So let's say I want to change the color. I want it to be a little bit more ah, like, you know, to my face. So let's change it to blue and uh, red and green, okay? So countries that aren't making many sales, I want it to be red. And countries that are making a lot of sales, I want it to be green. So that I know who I got to speak to. Let's go okay, right? So these are the ones with the that are having issues that I need to have a chat with. But let's say your boss goes to you, well, we are, we've already got France taken care of, which is right here, right? I need to know who I got to speak to on the other one. No worries. I click on France. I just exclude it, right? Then it resets all my data. Let's say United Kingdom I'm not interested in and Germany, right? I can click this one and I can click this one. I can exclude. Again, it just keeps going. It keep, you can dig into your data so easily. Let's do let's do one more example, and then we'll we'll stop there in terms of demonstration. And this one is got to do with states, right? So let's try states. I can do by city, state doesn't matter. Let's just do states for this one. Double click, and I got my states here, right? Let's see each state's profit. So let's grab profit. Let's drop it in color. Okay, straight away maps it. I can put some tool tips in here. I can put some labels. I can change what label. So we can say in the state of whatever that is, the profit is, and we can get rid of this. I'm literally just having fun here. So we go black. Okay. Right, so that when I go and label, look, it actually updates. It tells me how much they're making, right? And I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can select what areas I'm interested in, right? There's so much you can do. Actually, you know, I'm gonna show you one more just because <laughs> I, I love doing this stuff. So let's go city, okay? I wanna see everyone's sales in those cities, okay? And I also wanna change the size of the dot based on their sales. So I can drop that into size, okay? Let's just get rid of this for a second, right? Anything with a big dot means a lot of sales, okay? So let's make that really visible. Let's do red and black reversed, okay? So now I can see these big ones. This looks super interesting. Look how many there are in here. Now, this is honestly, in my opinion, one of the coolest things, but it's not like there's so many cool things you can do in Tableau. So I'm gonna grab the zoom tool. I'm gonna go in here and let's take a look what's inside, right? And the other thing I want to do is I'm going to add some really cool things, which is I'm going to add a coastline, some streets, so that when I go into here and zoom in some more, look what you can see, right? You can actually see the city. I mean, it's nuts. There's so much you can do. You can see streets, right? You can even add street names. You can add elevation data. You can do so many things in Tableau. I freaking love it. And there's like, we're only like, what is this, nine minutes in? Right? There's so much I want to show you, so much I want to teach you. So without further ado, let's get into learning Tableau. See ya!